Look at the picture. See the skull. Visible Frankenstein controls the Brain Thoughts Broadcasting Radio, the Frankenstein Earphone Radio, the latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls. Today's episode of Frankenstein Control is brought to you by Bertram's Log Flume of Roast Chicken. <laughs> that sounds like a fun place. <laughs> Slide on down to the only restaurant that lets you not only eat the food, but ride in it. <laughs> uh, guests are encouraged to stand at the bottom of the bridge and watch all the patrons sludge down to the bottom and be completely drenched in our gravy lazy river. That sounds real good. <laughs> is is the the regular like fluid in the log flume just grease? Um, no, I am I I'm, I'm being told here. I have a documentation. It says that all the lo- the fluid of the flume is just like bits of rotisserie chicken that are flowing like a river. So it's pushing you forward. Nobody knows how it works. It's so, one of those things where like it's chicken flow, <laughs> where like small enough pieces of a solid bunched together behave like a liquid. Yes, yeah. like a grain silo, <laughs> but it's a chicken silo. Still, a, but both are a horrible way to die, mm-hmm. for man or chicken. <laughs> Actually, that's part of their slogan. It says, come down to Bertram's log flume of roast chicken. If you die, you'll, it's the best way of it. <laughs> <laughs> it just says, if you die, it's free. <laughs> but they, they never specify what it is. <laughs> that's it. Come on down to Bertram's log flume of roast chicken. If you die, it's free. <laughs> And uh, now with that sponsor out of the way, I wanted to welcome everybody to a very special episode of Frankenstein Control. Uh, it's our 87th episode, and boy oh boy, do we got a celebration in store for you. I've got Becky the bagpiping bosom mistress out in the hallway. She's ready to play us a, a sporting tune. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, I'm getting a message on my phone here. Oh. Oh, she died at the log flume place. Yeah. Oh. She sounds like someone who would. <laughs> now, let us all have a, mo- a moment of silence for Becky. <laughs> the world lost one of its treasure gems today. Welcome to Frankenstein Control! <laughs> Welcome to our 87th episode. I, I booked French Electronica duo a Teenage Bad Girl, but they didn't come because I, I forgot to email them. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> well, B-Ride, that's okay, because the, the, the folks at home, they don't need any special musical guests. We just need us three here today. I'm your host, Taylor Russell. To my left is Ada Ship. I'm Ada Ship, and are you going to eat those bagpipes? Sorry, greedy boy. I'm sorry. And in front of me, as always, is Birai. I'm Birai, and I, I personally prefer the flavor of harpsichord, if I'm perfectly honest. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, a refined taste. It's most like uh, a Mozart. Uh, my, my good pal, Amade. You know, the um, rotisserie chicken log flume r- reminds me of a game I play. Oh, what's that? Wet chicken. <laughs> Wait, That's right. I remember wet chicken, but I forget what it is. <laughs> oh, it's my way of tormenting others when they ask me to do something. Um, if somebody asks me to like fill up their drink or make them a drink or oh, give yes. them water, I always fill it all the way to the like to the very edge of the glass to the point where like the surface tension is barely what's holding it together, <laughs> and then present it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Even better if now they have to carry it somewhere. <laughs> Where's the? <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> That's evil. You've done it to me a time or two, and there's. I think by the second time, I remembered that you did that, but it was mm-hmm. too late because you already had orange cup. <laughs> my treasured drinking accomplice. Do you still have orange cup? Orange cup is now my bedside uh, cup for, oh. for nighttime drinking. Um, I, I have of water, this, I assume. Of only water. Only only water's ever been an orange cup. But I have <laughs> I have this slim little metal water bottle now because it fits in a sleeve in my backpack. So I, oh, bring it up here, be right. I'm I gonna only, take a look at it. Oh, that's I only nice. Gotta it's got carry. a nice little to it. Mm. <laughs> take that through the TSA. They'll love you. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm, you know, want to aggravate people, I just 
slowly, you know, slowly grind my nails on it like that mm. in an irritating fashion that's largely ignored. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, no, it fits in my backpack, so I uh, only got to carry one thing when I leave the house. I yeah. do got to say, the shape that it has, it looks like a cocktail shaker. It does, and <laughs> as, as, bef- as befits my noble uh, patronage. <laughs> Your bloodline. My bloodline. The bloodline. I, I am the scion of a long and storied family of morose drunks. <laughs> <laughs> morose, intellectual, and lo- yet long-lived drunks. Well, at least you got a long future ahead of you. Mm-hmm. Long future of martinis. Uh, you know what? That's a damn good future, if you ask me. Mm. I've got a long future ahead of me. Uh, as in, I'm going to star in the live-action film American Dragon Jake Long as an extra and then be crushed by a flying car. Mm. Uh, and that's how I'll die. <laughs> I always figured you were going to go the way of Bob Crane. Bob Crane was killed by an egret. <laughs> did it Did it beat him to death with the camera while he was boning? <laughs> what? What? Bob Crane died in a gross sex way, and I don't really remember the details, particularly because I didn't care to when I read his gross Wikipedia article. <laughs> he, was, he was killed by the crane he was having sex with. <laughs> it shot him. Yeah. <laughs> it had a concealed carry permit. <laughs> do cranes actually call, or do they just like click their beaks to communicate? I think they have like a, a, a call that isn't quite a call. Or something, are, are they but... the ones that go like... Or something. I thought those were the looms. Listen to the loons, Norman. Woo! Yeah, that. The loons. Ah, sorry, I'm quoting a movie probably nobody's ever seen. So, <laughs> on Golden Pond, it's a movie about being old and shit. Hmm. <laughs> that's the subtext of the, the title. Yeah, that's the that's the tagline for the film. That's how they sold it. Just, sold it to audiences. Just like the tag ma- tagline for uh, Ant Man and the Wasp was, "Please watch this one, guys." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that came out. It did. It might as well have been direct to DVD. Why'd they do that? I don't get it. Because they needed a reason for Ant-Man not to be around for Avengers Infinity War so that they couldn't just say, why didn't he just go up his anus? (laughs) Why didn't he just rock up that... Why didn't he rock up the flesh sock? <laughs> that purple sock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Jake Long was that series on Disney, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I saw a thing about that where somebody asked him at a con uh, if he was okay with people drawing porn of his characters. Mm. And apparently when he uh, st- first like signed on to do the show, the Disney people like just showed him a whole bunch of, like, Kim Possible porn, oh. and they're like, yeah, people are going to do this to your show. You gotta be okay with this. <laughs> you can't stop it. There, you can't stop it. There's literally no way we can enforce it all. Yeah. You just gotta deal with it. <laughs> you gotta know in your heart that this horrible thing will occur. Mm-hmm. So he has accepted it. <laughs> I, love, I love how the reason they had to stop the Aaron E shirts. Oh, yeah. Because they were be, making porn of them. The, and it just disturbed and upset the company so much. <laughs> and they retired the character. And they don't make those commercials anymore <laughs> because of that oh god <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's definitely one of those like uh, like situations where I think how bad you should feel about it is proportional to how young the characters in it are depicted because yeah. Erin Insurance, she's clearly a very you know she's, she's an adult she's an adult she's capable of doing many adult type things such as being a spy and uh, park going through town with a grappling hook but then you know fucking <laughs> American Dragon Jake Long fairly certain not not of age yeah and that's a little disturbing mm-hmm. so uh, it's ugh. <laughs> oh internet Never change, except please change immediately. Yes. Uh, and then when they start making porn of... Um, God, that, no. That, Don't ever say that. Now we'll, I we'll, cut that out. Well, no, we've reached the top. I cut that out. <laughs> Thank you, Ada, for cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I've said something horrible. Ada, cut that out. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say it. <laughs> but I'll let you guess at home what it might be. Here's a hint. Uh, the ice cream sandwiches? Sure. <laughs> um, do you guys do you guys ever just leave an ice cream sandwich out on a plate? 
Yeah. And it melts? No. It doesn't. Depending on who makes the sandwich. Like, if you buy the discount card from Walmart, you can just, like, set it on a plate, and it'll, like, there'll be a little meltiness, but overall, it'll just maintain its shape. Because the preservatives in it? I have no idea. <laughs> I literally have no idea how it maintains its structure that way, but uh, I see that, and I'm just like, hmm, you know I'm going to eat you. Well, if the... Um... But I'm not going to like it. <laughs> Remember those ice cream sandwiches I tried to take through the beach trip that would never re-solidify? Yeah! I like had some that were really good, and I wanted to share them on this trip we went to. So I put them in a cooler with some ice, so like they would survive a little bit their, uh, th- or, or keep their shape during the trip, and then put them in the freezer when we got there. And then I kept them in the freezer for like two days and took them out and they were still melting. (laughs) She's like, why the fuck didn't you refreeze? What is wrong with you ice cream sandwich? It's probably from all the vodka you put in them. (laughs) I got an entire pint of um, Chunky Monkey from like Mm 7-Eleven. And I was like looking forward to eating it while I, I... I eat it while we watch like Bill Maher or some shit on a Friday evening. And... I like got a few bites in, and then I was like, "Oh no, that's what it was." I was I got a few bites in, and then I decided I didn't want any anymore. And then I had pumpkin on my lap, so I was like, "Listen, will you please, you know, we, we have the boy protocol where yeah. if one of us has the boy, then that person is exempt from doing other chores." <laughs> and I was like, "Since I have the boy, will you please run this to the the free, you know, put this in the freezer for me again?" And she was sure, and I. Found it two days later. She'd put it in the fridge. Ah! <laughs> Absent mindedly, she she did apologize and you know was confused with herself. Yeah, you got yourself a but, chunk of smunk of smoothie. Yeah, I'm really glad they changed the name t- to Chunky Monkey as opposed to what it was before. What was that? Fat ape. <laughs> Well, it's because I sued them for it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that is my word. <laughs> Pre-diabetic uh, bonobo. <laughs> Corpulent macaque. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, uh, colorful themed animals, I finally did it, y'all. <coughs> you saw detectives look at your dick. Yes. What? Peep, 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 chew, peep, a peepus. <laughs> well, I did see a detective of certain sorts. You a- saw, you saw a dick. <laughs> I saw a big yellow dick on the screen. His name was Peepachu. You got to see Dick Pikachu. I saw he yeah, had chubby little glands cheeks. It was grands. Why well, stop this? <laughs> Why didn't they call him Electric Dick? They could have called, yeah. called the movie Electric Dick. Uh, because that was already said to be the uh, Michael Jackson biopic before all the controversy. <laughs> oh yeah. It was um. Well, answer me this. At some point in the movie, mm-hmm. at least. Please tell me that they use the song uh, Danger High Voltage by the Electric Six. <laughs> um, no, they didn't. That's a disappointment. Um, the, the story of how I went to see the movie was funny. So you know how last week I was talking about how I was in New York? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, one of the things we wanted to do during our day of wandering around doing stuff, uh, my friend was looking at her phone and she was like, huh, there's a thing at the harbor. There's a giant battleship and <laughs> they're doing a screening of Top Gun tonight at the harbor by uh, projecting it on the side of the battleship and we should go to it. I'm like, that sounds great. Let's do that. That sounds quirky and hipstery. Let's do it. And then we get there and the line is just a million miles long and we're like, well, I guess we better queue up. And we do. And then this guy comes through with like a walkie talkie and a red, you know, shirt and a name tag. And he's like, oh, guys, all the tickets are sold out. We're still trying to figure out if we can get some more people in, but... And then I was like, ooh. I look over at my friend. She's already looking at showtimes for Detective Pikachu. She's like, you want to see that? I'm like, okay. (laughs) So we go and, um... Uh, dealing with a few New York assholes to get our seats. We finally did, and the movie was good. Not great, not world-changing. It was good, which, in if we're talking in terms of video game movies, it was the greatest film of all time. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let UV Bowl anywhere fucking near it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, was, it was a perfectly passable film, and I enjoyed it. It was good. Um, 
the the plot was kind of kind of you know predictable. It's a kids movie; it can't be anything too hot and crazy. But where the movie shines is the execution of it all. That movie is a hundred percent execution. Like it's it they the just it's very how can I say like it's very self aware but still takes itself seriously. It presents you a world that, as a Pokemon fan, you just want to see. There's fucking Pokemans everywhere, and it looks fucking cool, and just, like, they inject lots and lots of personality into everywhere they go. Um, The main character dynamics is great. Ryan Ryan Reynolds is a treat. He's an absolute treat. As that little, as that, as that Peking Chew, and, uh, like, he's everything you wanted him to be. So if if you just wanted it to see for that, go see it because he does not disappoint. He's the best part of the movie, bar none. Um, and it's just so th- the novelty of this Ryan Reynolds face making Ryan Reynolds act in Pikachu. <laughs> the novelty never dies. <laughs> the whole time, you're just like yeah, <laughs> I like this Pikachu. Everything he does is hilarious, <laughs> and he loves coffee. And it's just, I love and it. Crystal's meth. <laughs> he likes coffee and Crystal's meth. <laughs> and um, also, if you're a fan of the Cornetto trilogy, uh, Bill Nighy is in that movie, so that's uh, that's pretty funny. He was in Shaun of the Dead. Hmm. And a couple other things. <laughs> He's a popular British actor. He's a... Uh, <laughs> and also, the main girl totally looks like Mary Elizabeth Winstead, but it's not her. <laughs> It's super weird. Hmm. Bill Nighy is uh, Bill Nighy the Science Davy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I won't forget the part where he rolls up in his wheelie chair and goes, Do you feel death, Jack Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I, I loved what they did with the movie. I don't love the movie. I like the movie. But I love what they did with the movie. Hmm. And if we can get video game movies of this caliber you know, released after this point, that'd be great. But we got the fucking Sonic the Hedgehog movie to look forward to next. It's gonna fuck everything up. Yep. (laughs) You just put our cars back by 20 years. Now, to be fair, Taylor, nobody thinks a Sonic the Hedgehog movie is a video game movie. (laughs) That is its own separate category of hilarious, ironically viewed train wreck (laughs) that everyone is going to watch strictly to Mystery Science Theater. I think think them changing Sonic actually hurt them in the long run. Oh, naturally. It shows they caved to the the wrong people to cave to. It depends on how they change it. Oh, man, if they They make it worse, it'll be even better. I hope so. Oh, because... Yeah, I mean, the only reason I wanted to go is because Sonic was hideous. Yeah. Now that I know they're changing him to something, quote-unquote, more faithful, I'm, I'm a little bummed out by it. I'm like, now I don't want to pay tickets to see it. I'll probably just catch it, like, on a phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> something awful that uh, uh, I was checking in with them because I haven't checked the front page of... You were like, uh, you were like, hey, something awful! We haven't talked in a while. Are you okay? Something awful? Something awful? Oh my god. Call the police! Woo! Immediate smash cut to you standing in the living room with like you got like a blanket on and you're all scared and you're like, I can't believe it. Zach Parsons wrote a hilarious article about hanging himself. <laughs> <laughs> and it came true! Uh, no, but one of them, I don't remember if it was uh, Dennis Farrell or, or uh, Zach Parsons. Wow, of, Farrell writes for them? I think so, yeah. Cool, man. And uh, he's, yeah, oh, go eat shit. Um, it took, it took me most of that ire was because it took me a long time to. <laughs> yeah, he, he goes into their office with his giant ass Ranger Rick hat. And he writes uh, comedy articles. Um, no, one of them had something where they said they, they were just mocking the the concept of the Sonic movie. And they mm-hmm. said something like, well, what if you took a beloved character who had 30 years of established design and just made him just be a cop? And he's just he's just a cop. That's it. That's the whole movie. He's not a cop in the games, but he's just a cop for this because that's the <laughs> plot we could think of and it's interchangeable with any other shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, that's... That's, that's the thing with Detective Pikachu, too. Because, like... There were so many routes they could have gone with a Pokemon, with a live action Pokemon movie. Mm-hmm. And the route they chose was the most different and interesting choice they could have made. 
Because you could have just followed the formula and done something more closer to the games. Mm -hmm. And it would have just been even more bog standard and kind of boring. Mm -hmm. It might have been nice. There has to be an interesting twist on it. Yeah. You've got to do something with the the concept. Yeah. You want want to know more about the film. You're like, why the hell is there a detective Pikachu? Why is he talking? What's all this? I just got to know these answers now. Why is Ronald Reynolds... Ronald Reynolds. (laughs) Why is Ronald Reynolds doing the Pikachu... Why is it happen? And, like, just with the sheer addition of a detective-type uh, genre, I think it opens up the, you know, relatively sanitary world of Pokemon uh, up to, understandably, up to something a bit more gritty. Mm-hmm. And, like, the movie definitely has a, a level of grit to it that is unexpected mm-hmm. for, you know, such a, a clean product, you know? And I think that's what made it really enjoyable because it was just enough to where it made it nice, different, and cool, but it stuck to its subject matter also and stuck pretty true to it and created a world that you would want to live in because it looked pretty awesome. As opposed to, like, say, I don't know, the Super Mario Brothers movie where <laughs> it was basically just Alien from L.A. but with the Mario twins. Yeah. Ugh. It fucking sucked ass dick. <laughs> Although it is a great watch if you're very drunk. Yes. Oh, I should have a movie night sometime with that. I think that'd be great. That what what was your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? In the movie. Um, Very briefly, it showed uh, Golurk. Oh, okay. And I was like, <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. and my friend's like, fucking what? Like, it's a Golurk. And she's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, boo, boo, boo. It's my boy. <laughs> is, this, uh, is there a Scyther at any point? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're just Pokemon cameos all throughout the movie. Okay. So, like, chances are, if you have a Pokemon that you like, it's probably somewhere Mm-mm. in, like, the background or something. Um, I always like Scyther a lot. He was always <laughs> one of my favorites. Um, Scyther is pretty cool. Of course, you'd like him because he has knives for hands. And he's a flying bug boy, and he, that's awesome. Except he can't learn fly! Well, that's... Which is just... Po- I tell you, the Pokemon, the creator of Pokemon, ooh, he must hate bugs. Because there are so many shit bug types that it just make, gives me a girdle. That, ooh, that imagines my dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Grumble. Oh. <laughs> Thinking of imagined dragons imagines my dragons. <laughs> Imagine. I- I don't. I actually don't know a single song they've done. I involuntarily know a bunch. Are, <laughs> are they? They're the ones that did that that meme song with the waking up to ash and dust. Yeah. Oh. I wipe my ass and I slap my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That, of course, is an edit of an a- of their actual song. But that's how I know them. What, ta- what are you talking about? That, uh. song, that song played during the credits of Detective Pikachu. <laughs> For real? No! <laughs> but I wish you did. That'd be great. I believe that the actual song. Oh, oh like. that's what you thought. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I actually can't remember what played during the credits. I think that, like, you know how all credits these days have, like, credits and then credits? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Where, like, they have the, the stylized credits for, like, these are the actually important people. And then here's all the people that actually made the movie happen. And, here's yeah, best and, and worst boys. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> like in like in Endgame, where the, the end credits were just, like, the most, like, <gasps> for, like, five minutes for each cast member mm. with, like, flashy visuals and, like, them in different scenes and, like, looking at the camera and being dramatic and, like, greatest hits reel and shit. And you're like, wow, dude, this is the end. But it's not because it's Marvel and they're going to run that shit into the ground until it's not feasible anymore. You still haven't showed me that movie. I'll show you I it. I know I won't leave the house if somebody doesn't make me. <laughs> is this still in theaters? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's only it's, been out it's for like a, a month. It's a huge fucking blockbuster. Of yeah, course yeah. it's still end, throwing. It's end, the ended games. Yeah, it should be still out. Do that Friday. Yeah, we, I ain't got shit to do this weekend. I'll let you know. Um, I, I, I could pencil it in. <laughs> um, I... To, to turn subjects real quick, um, I'm considering getting into, like, pottery. Really? really? Yes. Because I want to make various pouring apparatuses that look like barfing things. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's the most you reason to do that. Just like, like a, <laughs> like a goose, like a goose gravy boat. Mm-hmm. And so, like at Thanksgiving, you're just be like, pass the gravy, please. I'm like, oh, certainly. <laughs> I was inspired. I was sent a gif earlier today yes. featuring something like that. And uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a passing fancy, but I'd like to imagine I'd be pretty good at it. You already got your painting skills from doing your boys. That's mm-hmm. true. You Look can make ceramic these. boys. I can make ceramic boys. My God. I can put I can put my Sazabi custom in the kiln and it'll become a puddle. <laughs> like a really fucking heavy Gundam. <laughs> Fuse him into a solid hunk of plastic. Solid uh, <laughs> solid hunk, by the way, is my stripper name. Just I put that out there. Ew. <laughs> Uh, oh, the, oh the, the 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 goofs and gaps we get on on this here show. I tell you what. Uh, what's on the uh, b right Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> what what you doing over there? I'm slowly. I'm I'm tired. Are you tired? Mm-hmm. What you gonna tell me? You tired all of a sudden? Yep. You gonna tell me you tread? What? You got treads? And a hubcap? Oh, you're, oh. you're tired. See, I'm so tired I didn't even fucking... I just... Oh my made, god, these two these two hosts of mine are fucking dying on me! He's Quickly, made of rubber. Pikachu, I need 50 cc's of electricity! Stat! P- 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 Pikachu... I'm Ryan Reynolds here. <laughs> What's going on? I totally sound like Ryan Reynolds. Make the face, Ryan. Right. <laughs> See you in line, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> Just I, um, like Bart. I, I finally branched out on Reddits. Because uh-huh. uh, before this weekend, I had only been on the uh, slash R Gunpla, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> got like the Gundam subreddit, and that is it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but finally, I broke out. I'm like, you know what? I just, I just need to see some memes right now. I just need to see some memes, and I did our memes, and I was not disappointed. People make lots of dumb shit, and mm-hmm. I enjoy it greatly. I'll um, tell you what's a um, a Reddit that you may enjoy. Our uh, imaginary leviathans. Our imagined dragons. No. Oh. Imaginary Leviathan. Ooh, uh, that, okay, that's pretty cool. It's just like artwork of giant sea monsters and shit, Ooh. and like it's like you know kaiju and smashing up cities and. Oh, speaking of kaiju, the <clears throat> um the Godzilla trailer before Detective Pikachu Ooh. slash Avengers, at least it, when I saw it. Um, did you have you seen that BRI? I've the, seen some of it. That trailer? Yeah, I, th- I think so. I've seen um, a trailer. I don't know if it's the trailer. Even if the movie is dumb garbage, which it probably will be. That they know how to make a fucking trailer. I know. I My that, God, uh, I've never been so hyped for a movie I knew nothing about. I noticed that Ghidra is in it. I, everyone's in it. Ghidorah, Mothra. I'd be surprised if Gamera. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if like fucking Gamera showed up out of nowhere, <laughs> just spinning around. Jet Jaguar is gonna show up and look stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be cool, man. Like no, but the the trailer's fucking awesome because. Uh, just like how I was saying how it was an interesting and s- almost inspired idea to get Jim Carrey to be Robotnik mm-hmm. this trailer has that same sort of like what an odd choice but wow uh, the music that plays in the fucking trailer is g- goddamn somewhere over the rainbow but it's like a modified crazy like super orchestra version of it and it sounds uh-huh. it goes with it so well huh. and it makes you so hyped for it it's awesome. You're just like, ow, ow, <laughs> and you spew radioactive juice into the ceiling. It's the uh, somewhere over the rainbow cover by Death Grips. <laughs> <laughs> Death Grips. I know who that is. It's the the loud screaming music uh, that I've been listening to a lot lately. I don't know if you John heard, Mouse. I don't know if you've heard it through my walls. We talked about it on the show. Oh, we did. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's great. Oh, okay. And now I really want to see MC Ride screaming somewhere over the rainbow. (laughs) (laughs) Somewhere over the scream (laughs) bow. Oh, uh, that that is a good segue into music real quick. Uh, Mm -hmm. Caravan Palace has a new album out and it's good. They got a new single that's pretty good called... Finally, uh, a music suggestion that literally all three of us can appreciate. (laughs) Called uh, About You. It's good. What's it about? 
It's about you. <gasps> about you? Oh! Literally. <laughs> Literally. No, you. you. Oh, that was incorrect. <laughs> you said you, meaning me. <laughs> Where's that from? It's from The Simpsons. Oh. <laughs> Uh, like a Smokey the Bear diagram. And he's like, who can prevent forest fires? <laughs> and Bart presses you. And he says, that was incorrect. You pressed you, meaning me. You should have pressed me, meaning you. <laughs> God, that is such a Simpsons joke. <laughs> oh, there was a really funny Simpsons joke on an episode I watched the other day where, like, I guess... A uh, hurricane swept through town and destroyed a bunch of shit. Yeah. And Homer's walking through, and there's, like, all this smashed stuff, and then there's, like, the wind chimes store, and, like, the chimes are still going, and the guy goes, Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> <laughs> Is that in a new episode? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So many good jokes, so many good things surrounding us lately. That's pretty nice, I gotta say. That's pretty cool. I can learn to appreciate that. But what I can't abide by at all Mm -hmm. is that giant nine-foot centipede that keeps hopping up in the window over there. His name is Carl, Mm -hmm. and he lives here. I don't. And you'll respect him. He pays rent. He's our new roommate. Oh, God. Wait, you didn't inform me of this. You don't need to know. What was his name? (laughs) Carl. Carl, get out of my fucking ice cream cooler! That's it's where I room. keep that's where I keep all of my my non-melted ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> and he's just hacking into him. God, he's horrible. Look at his mouth parts are going. I think he's cute. Uh, We're dating now. Uh, <laughs> he's laying eggs in your shoes. No! He's laying eggs in my shoes. Oh, he's doing something else in mine. <laughs> oh. It's your shoes or his bathroom. <laughs> Carl, stop a pooping in my shoeprin. I'm gonna get you, Carl, for the last thing I do. Next time on Frankenstein Control, I'm getting a big old bottle of bug spray. And, oh, oh, oh no, he heard me. Ada, save me. No. Ah! Now, even you know I am a menace. I hand you the secrets to save the entire human race and the entire universe.